We were really enjoying our coconut beach. We even made some friends, who were very playful, sweet, and provided some silly entertainment. We couldn't help ourselves and shared some bread with them before tearing ourselves away. We needed to make some progress towards Panama City, as Goose was due to get on a boat soon. So off we went to find out where we would lay our heads for the night. I always love driving the quiet country roads. The ones that aren't particularly special, they don't lead to any tourist destination. They're completely and utterly ordinary, and you get a sense of normal life. The slower pace that these people exist in, the manual way in which most things are accomplished, the kindness of strangers. It really slows our pace, with our windows down, exchanging waves and smiles as we go. Most people are pretty surprised to see gringos, and that's the way we like it. So we made it to another amazing beach. Tim's What's Around the Corner fever had paid off here as we kept following a little road that didn't show on any maps. It kept meandering until we finally hit sand. Turns out there was one ranch house way out here and they only used horses to access it. So although not totally alone, it still felt pretty remote. And man, was it beautiful.
This tree was massive. It stood watch over the beautiful beach. I think it is the biggest tree either of us has seen outside of Sequoia National Park. A tree like this seems so wise. Maybe that was because I watched too much Pocahontas as a kid. Took a long time off-roading on some pretty gnarly roads to get here. A couple rivers to cross. And you're still not alone. There's someone that lives down the beach always, but um, it's pretty cool. Howler monkeys in the jungle at night out here. And uh, not too much going on. We're leaving a pretty rad beach here. Check out that tree. Right over there. It's a monster. Um, had to do river crossing, some muddy hills. Should be fine on the way back because it didn't rain last night, but we were worried if it rained it could be pretty tough. And it seems like we got just far enough where now we're looking at National Park. And so the jungle, all these big trees haven't been cut. It gives you an idea of what the jungle really looked like. Because everywhere else in Panama we've been just not seeing, you know, 10 foot diameter trees and right here behind us it's just filled with them I don't know how much will show up as I pan pretty rad though so sad to leave this one see you later We needed to make progress towards Panama City now, as we had to be there in a few days so Goose could be inspected before he was allowed to board his ship. So we crossed back over our rivers and up our muddy track to make some miles towards the big city. We found this little hillside that was vacant and had a great view for the night. Thanks for watching! If you want to be on our mailing list, visit our website, dirtsunrise.com, then click the blog tab at the top of the page, enter your email address in the window, and hit subscribe. How are you just looking at my beautiful mullet? I hear the wind. Yes. What is it telling you? I don't understand.